Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 The Shadows of Om. We are here about to leave the city. We have done all the quests that we currently have within the city of Katla. And now we are going to go and uh, do other things outside the city before we go save Emmawin. So, we've got a couple things we have to do. We have, hopefully, a very small quest in Imrisvel to do regarding buying some weapons for some kids, as you do. <laughs> We have a quest and trade meet to do. And we have Nira's quest down here at the Wild Forest. I'm also debating whether or not we want to check out the Watcher's Keep before we leave. I don't know. I don't know how how long we're going to be at Spellhold for. I imagine it's just going to be a quest. So we could probably check that out later. I'm assuming this is DLC. Right? We, ha we don't have a quest to go there. So I'm not going to go there. We shouldn't even know about it, right? Um, so, first thing we're going to do, though, before we go to either of these places, oh, we also, wait, oh, the Umar Hills is, is Emmersville, right? Yeah. Now, we could also go and try and kill the dragon, too, but the quest made it seem, the text in the quest makes it seem like he's going to show up again later, so I kind of want to see what that is about. And there's the shadow dragon still at the temple we could go kill if we wanted to. Uh, wanted to try it, but I think we might wait for that as well. But first things first, we're gonna go to the Druid Grove and get CERN. Yes. Aha! Uh -huh. I understand it. Sorry to body bother your petty concerns, but I have translated some of the Nether Scroll. Hmm. Holy crap! The ancient magic at my fingertips, and more yet to decipher, it has been a good day. What are you staring at? I've had my say. Back to your little quest or whatever. He just got 50,000 XP. Dude, that's awesome. Give me some direction. Yeah, Can you I'll share some you. of that knowledge with me, buddy? <laughs> that's really cool. I like that a lot. All right, let's get up there. I'm waiting. I wonder how many of those he gets. I guess there will be like a dialogue when he actually completes all of it. That's so much XP. Ah, I love this zone. I think this has been my favorite zone so far. Potentially in all in both games. I love just like the swamp atmospheric sounds going on. I think it's really fun. Feels alive. Edwin, I know you're deciphering the scroll, but watch where you're walking, buddy. Alright. And as much as I love Nalia, um, I feel really bad with her being in the party. Everybody is just berating her for being a, a, a noble girl. It's kind of mean. And she's just trying to be good. She's just trying to fit in. And she doesn't. Saren is a little bit more able to stand up for himself, I feel like, as a true neutral character. Hey, there's Saren. It's done. Yeah, He's just hanging out right here, huh? I should have looked up where um, Jan goes in between episodes. Oh, well. You know what? I am going to look that up real quick. Because if he is still out there, I want to know. I meant to do this before I started the episode. But obviously I didn't. Jan Janssen. Uh, BG2. Uh, where does he go? Assuming that will be enough. Mm. Okay. If this well, if dismissed. Sorry, guys. I thought this would be easier to find. It's all just saying where to originally find him.
Let me see here. Come on. Uh... Okay, that was a bit of a spoiler. Uh, if you look at your map in the slums, there's a house. Okay. Huh, it says it will be at his house. Or the prison, apparently, if you turned him into the guards. Okay, well, Cern, it there is a D at the end of his name. Again. I was correct the whole time. Have you come here on business, or just to sample the rich beauty of nature? Uh, join the group. Goodbye, Nalia. Okay. So. Yeah, he's at 1.8 million experience although he takes a ton more to level up than she does like so much more. it's incredible how much he takes but you will be going back up here shall we continue on or has this ended our travels uh we should go our separate ways me does at the cough coronet goodbye all right <clears throat> i don't really know who we want in the back I don't know, maybe Heliax, to be honest. <laughs> because it doesn't matter. Yeah, we can just have her back there. Uh, let's have you on the flank. You have a shield, so you should be on the flank. Give okay. If it must be done. And right now you're in greater werewolf form, so that's good. I'm waiting. All right, so this is the party until we find Jan. Yeah, I'll, I'll check one more time when we get back there. Maybe, maybe it just takes time for him to appear. I'm not sure. Otherwise, I imagine Jan is just gone. Jan is gone. All right, so let's start off with going to trade meet and do that quest. All right. Not a concern. Should we uh, check with the merchants too? I do want to do some shopping here too, or more accurately, some thieving. So you guys should have money again, right? I hope this is worth. You will find no better prices. Good news, my friend. The genies have been dealt with, I hear, and we've been able to reload on our, on our supplies. If you wish to look at my goods, and now would be the time. All right. Anything good? Staff spear. Um, the one gift lost. Charge ability missile blast. That's kind of cool. I'll take that. I need a necklace, so that's that works out for me. We do want that wand of fire too. I'm still a little nervous stealing, even though I've become quite apt at it. All right, this goes to me. This goes to you. This goes to you too. You get two scroll books. Lucky you. Okay. Yeah. Can I just sell yeah, that wand of fire to you? Too. Actually, you like the sort who has more than two gold pieces actually, no, I can't. Together. Give me some direction. What is it? I forgot. I tell all the merchants that I stole it before I try and sell it to them. Uh, is there any merchant in here now? No. I'm there. If it must be done. What about this guy over here? Oh, how long do you intend to crack your whip it's on my back? You find no better now. prices in arm. We're gonna I sleep soon, Viconia. Don't worry. Good okay, you guys don't have it. You. you guys do not have anything not for me. All right. No use to anyone tired. Let's walk up here, see if there's any merchants there, and then we'll walk around here. And I think there's the smith too, right? I think we looked at the smith's wares before and. Didn't have anything too great. Nothing there. Go down the stalls here. A 
peddler. Alright, anything on that you have? You have plate mail. Nah, I mean, we can get those potions of healing if we want, but. Hmm. I'm okay. Wallace. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Potions of healing. Emerald. A scroll case. Don't need another scroll case. I want to steal that emerald. Nah. It's not going to be worth that much, I don't think. Well, you know what? I'll take it, actually. I've changed my mind. I'm waiting. I hope this is worth it. We need to put that. Oh, we need to sell these things to you guys, too. There you go. Oh, you got some stuff. Black Blood, plus three. Dwarven Thrower, plus three. What does this do? This is a club. This oak club is coated with darkened, dried globs of tar-like substance. During battle, this substance glows black with an inner light and becomes thick and fluid. When the club strikes an opponent, it delivers additional acid damage from the liquid splashing over the victim. Well, that's really good. They have plus three acid damage. That'd be a good troll killer. All right. Oh my god, he's got a good short bow. When no arrows are equipped, the bow fires missiles that are treated as plus three for the purpose of determining what the what enemies they can damage. The missiles receive a plus three to hit, including the bonus listed above, and deal a total of 1d6 missile damage. Holy crap, this is cool. I kind of want to get Nalia back in the party. <laughs> Nalia, I got a cool bow for you. The thin frayed string of this bow appears unusable, but when it is drawn, a solid but invisible arrow becomes tangible. The Lich Tancheron gave this bow to his watcher, the guardian of his keep, who stood atop of the tower with neither entrance nor exit. When anyone approached, down would fall a never-ending rain of phantom arrows until they were dead or fled. How this bow was wrested from the Watcher's hands is not known, but would probably make a great tavern story. Okay, so we want that. That's for sure. Anything else? I mean, the Marshall Staff's pretty expensive. You actually got some really good... What is this? Ross the Dancing Blade. It's a long sword. Dancing sword can attack on its own for four rounds. Dude, this merchant's got some crazy stuff for just being like a random nameless merchant. Cloak of Displacement. Belt of Inheritable Barrier. Saver's Breath plus 5%. Equipped Abilities. Holy crap. When worn, this belt creates a dense curtain of air around the wearer. This curtain or barrier provides superior protection against breath attacks as well as magic. But the scorch marks on the worn leather, it is obvious by the scorch mark on it, is obvious this belt has been worn at least once against a dragon. <clears throat> we got some things to steal from you, buddy. Now we are tired, so that I hope that doesn't make too big of a difference. Alright, so. <clears throat> let's go ahead. We're going to steal that. I'm gonna steal that. Yeah, if it's over 10k, we're stealing it. I want that too. We're gonna steal that. Steal that. Um, the chainmail is pretty expensive. Some of those armors are pretty expensive. We might want those too. Let's get what we want most though. Want that. Want that. There we go. Quite the find here. What is this? It's a war hammer. Returns to the wheel's hand. Ha 
This hammer, not to be confused with the elven-made dwarf thrower, if is only usable by dwarves. In the capable hands of a dwarven warrior, the hammer may be thrown at an opponent. The magic in the hammer draws it back to the hand of its wielder. If it hits an opponent, it does double the normal damage that, that a hammer would normally do. Against giants and ogres, the hammer does an additional 8 damage due to the special hatred that the dwarves hold against these races. Ooh. Okay. Um, it's probably going to be better than that, right? If we equip that. So you have that. Hmm. It's actually not better than your throwing axe. Oh, this returns to the wielder's hands too. Oh, shit. That's 1d6 plus 2. This is 2d4 plus 3. So, I mean... Hold on. As much as this gives you is 8 damage. Oh, but proficiencies. Proficiencies are increasing it. Okay. Well, might as well put that there. Why not? If we ever come against giants and ogres, it'll be good. Alright, and then we have this bow, which I'm going to use. Put that there. What does this one do? Mirror image. We've not used this at all. We'll probably sell this. Got another long sword. You can hold on to that. Cloak of Displacement. Equipped abilities. Savers, Death, Breath, Wand. And Armor, plus four against missiles. Okay. Who does not have a cloak? I don't think you have one. Yeah, so we'll give it to Dorn. I'll help you out a bit. And then this is a belt. Who doesn't have a belt? Yours is a strength belt, so we want that. Uh, we'll give it to Dorn. Yeah. Kit Dorn out a bit. Yeah. I'll help him keep some tankiness about him. And I think that's all we have. We're selling the rest of the stuff, so we'll just put it in here. In fact, we should probably put everything in there that we're not, like, currently using. Oh, yeah, that shaman staff. You need to get that identified, too. Can you identify things? Oh, there you go. Good. Um, this can go in there, too. So all this stuff goes in our bag of holding. Is this the only bag of holding we get? Anything else I want to put in there? I don't think so. We can put that in there, I guess. Okay. So there's a couple other things that I wanted to steal from this guy. That were pretty expensive. I think it was all armor, though. But yeah, the chain mail. And the plate mail. I think that's all I want to take. Okay. Actually, are any of those, either of those good for you, Dorn? An upgrade for you? That one is. What about the other one? Probably not. I think that's probably the better one. Yeah, okay. Well, you can hold on to those. We'll sell them whenever we can. Ah, we'll put them in the brothers. Not weighing us down so much. All right, well, thank you, merchant. That was really good. Who's this? My mother and father were killed by wolves, they were. Now I gotta go to an orphanage, they say. Uh, that's too bad. I feel sorry for you. I've watched as the wolves, they... They... Excuse me. Eww. That's a rough thing to hear about. <laughs> right, I think that's the last merchant. But boy, was that worth going to. Alright. I know we're tired, but I don't really feel like resting yet. We're gonna go do this quest. Which is this place right here, Terrace's home. Or do we wanna check out the um 
I forgot we had Rasad here. We could pick up if we wanted to. Check out this Smith real quick. It's done. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. All right, let's see if you have anything worth me taking. I some decent stuff, but nothing, nothing that wows me. Oh, never mind. Robe of the Good Arch Magi. I'm gonna take that. I can't steal from him. Fuck you. Damn. Give me some. I'm there. I'm willing. Ah, oh, look at the group. There's Jan. Jan, come back, buddy. What would you have me do? Is there a reason why? Oh no no no. Okay. I thought there were like bugs flying around his his statue. But they're just they're just around. What am I doing here? Oh, I can give her the whole UI. How about that? Um, I don't know how we're gonna do this. The riddle one. I've been approached terrorist if it's been needs help. I'm from to help him. I should go today. Okay. Terrace, what do you it's need help with, buddy? Best left to me. Good day to you. Oh, you—you you are, are one of the heroes that everyone is talking about, aren't you? You stopped the druids and the genies. Maybe, maybe you could help me. It—it's also terrible. I hardly know where to begin. My my love, Raisa, and I—we were coming home two days ago, not far from here. It was late, and I heard a strange noise come out of the shadows. I thought perhaps it was another attack by the animals, but a large man leapt out of the darkness at me and knocked me out. I remember nothing until I woke up. When I did, I saw a man lying... I saw a man tying Risa to a chair. He was the one who had leapt at me. I, I stirred as my head ached, and I was not immediately aware that someone else was in the room. I suppose the other must have heard me because he approached me. I, I saw him, my lord. I turned and I saw him. He was a... A man or a creature that looked like a man, but he had no skin. All I saw was his his muscular and sinew, his muscles and sinew, 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 that word. He hissed, a dreadful sound, and tried to grab me. I was frightened, and I looked back, barely out of his reach. The man by Risa yelled at him to grab me, and the skinless creature should, should shouted back at him, angry, and I fled as quickly as I could. I heard someone running behind me, but I didn't dare look. I heard it shout behind me once. It said that it would get me, that it would find me, and and when I stopped running eventually, I didn't hear it anymore. I came here to hide, my lord. I am frightened to go out. What manner of creature could this be? What kind of magic would create a horror such as this? I don't know who to turn to. The militia, they could do nothing against such a creature, I am sure. And, and I feel so ashamed I left my Risa behind, left her to die. Please, my lord, will you help me? Will you find my Risa and bring her back to me? What kind of reward? I have nothing, my lord. Nothing to offer you at all, save my thanks and the thanks of my love. I am sure. Please, I beg of you to help her. Uh, tell me more. Th thank you, my lord. I am very grateful. If you could do whatever you can. Ah, uh, as for more information, well, let me think. The skinless creature did say the name of the man with the knife. He, sh he shouted it when the man told the creature to grab me. He called the man Re Regik. Regik? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Very sure. Why? Do you know that name? Eh? The tanner from Afkatla was has come here? Once again, it seems there is more to him than first appears. Come, boy. Do you know where we you were taken? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. The creature brought me to the woods near the, the southwest gate. Go there, I beg you, and find out what became of her. Probably not good, man. Perhaps, perhaps this man and his creature yet remain there. Oh uh, boy, oh boy. Yeah. Hey, not a concern. So the Tanner is back, huh? So the woods to the southwest. I hope this is worth it. All right. So that probably means we're going to be going off the map, huh? Well, luckily, this is kind of personal. So, we'll do this for no reward. 
Mm. We should probably sleep, huh? I just want to see how far it is. It's not here. It's not out there, is it? Wait. What? Where do I go then? Uh, da, 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 da. The murderer from the bridge district and a catla whom I drove off is now in trade me and apparently working with a strange skinless creature. His girlfriend were kidnapped. By south brought to the woods by the southwest gate. Oh, I'm in southeast. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'll see to it. Is it that place there? I'm so bad with directions, apparently. Alright, since it's just a little tent, I don't mind going in. I can't believe you didn't just go straight to the militia, though. Seriously, man. Like, it's one thing if... If, um... You know, they had to travel far away from town to get there. What's right here? Oh, whoa, 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 what do we have here? Greetings to you, good men. You are welcome amongst our family of Rom. And I offer you whatever hospitality I may. My name is Mustav. Perhaps you wish to have your fortune told by my wife, yes? Sure. Well met and welcome. I greet you, strangers, on behalf of my family and in accordance with Rom tradition. I am, uh... Verlislava. Do you pronounce the K? Maybe not pronounce it, I don't know. Uh, the mother of this family and its heart. If you wish, I can tell you something of your place in the future. I am your ten gold pieces, should you desire the benefit of my gift of insight, good man. Sh sure. As you wish. Come and sit beside me, good man, and I shall take hold of your hand. Close your eyes and let uh, Varislava feel your aura. aura. You are a strong man. Hell yeah, I am. You have powerful blood and a destiny that shines so brightly it is, it is the blood of a god that flows in you. But you are not alone. There's another. Another who calls to you for help. And I see a man, a dark man, whose life has been taken from him. I see this other. She screams. She screams. There is a beast. A beast of terrible power. And a dark man. The exile. He smiles. He smiles. I... I... No. No more. But please forgive me, good man. Your path has overwhelmed my limited gifts. You frighten me. I wish you good fortune. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Uh, that makes me feel comfortable. Uh, I'm just seeing that these guys have merchandise. Wow, oh, okay. What's going on here? This is not anything. I thought this was the place. Oh there, friend. Welcome to the Tent of Pleasure. Ha ha. I've been here for over a week myself, and I can tell you that the prices are well worth it. Uh, how is it that you're able to afford these prices? What? Oh, is this like a brothel? Who are you? The name is Wilfred. Wilfred the Red of Luskin. Although I'm sure you've probably heard of me. Heh. <laughs> Adventure extraordinaire and currently living off the excess of my most recent plunder. It's quite a story, a tale for the ages, you might say. You wouldn't happen to be a bard, would you? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story anyway, if you're willing. Uh, mm, nah, I'm, we got something to do. Glad to have met you anyway. I, I'm not really feeling story time. Kind of confused as to where I'm supposed to go now. I thought this would be it. Be done. Maybe I just have to go to the edge of these maps. I don't see anything. It's probably best left to me. Hmm. I'm willing. I trust all is well. Hold. I would know what manner of creature you be, you be before I lower my guard. Uh, simple half health. Hmm, you did not attack me on sight, so you're not the creature I seek. Its base cunning would not allow it to go without attacking a lone victim. 
That said, it is quite fair to say you do not know who I am and may attack me regardless, especially if you are at all aware of the capabilities of my prey. I am Dersidian Moor, and I hunt a creature known as the Skin Dancer, a man-like beast without true flesh of its own. Now, will you reveal your name? I am Heliax, and I seek a victim who may be held by the creature you seek, and a murderer named Rajik. Uh... Da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll go number one. I see. The murderer I do not know, but if he is aiding the skin dancer, then he is as much my target as the creature itself. He would only capture a victim if he meant to use his dark magic to, cre to create another like himself. Otherwise, he would have consumed her flesh on the spot. No. I must follow the leads I have found here and confront this creature once and for all. Tell me, then. Will you aid me in killing this creature of evil? Tell me where this creature is first. My only intention is to rescue his victim. Yes, I will go with you. The murderer who is with the skin dancer must be stopped as surely as the creature itself. Yeah, number two. Excellent. I know now who you are. You are the recently anointed saviors of this town, yes? Obviously, you have earned your reputation through good deeds. Is it a companion? I have found several clues. I suspect the creature's lair is just north of the east gate in a walled-off section of town with an orange pav pavilion. I intend to travel ahead and scout out the area. Meet me there as soon as possible. I could certainly use the your aid. No, so he's like a... Something else. An orange pavilion. East side, right? Is that what they said? Oh, over here. Helping terrorists in trade meet. I am pleased. Oh, it's raining. A whole barrel. A whole barrel of what? I trust all this. All right. Heliax, you've come. The creature was about to kill the maiden here, and I was forced to intervene. His human accomplice is only unconscious. Unconscious, however. I... I knocked him out. You're not... Wait, what? He... He... He was going to kill me. Quickly, Heliax. I have been badly hurt. I do not know if this human accomplice will rise soon or not. Kill him now while we have the chance. Yes, kill him, please. Something's not quite right. Uh, what? Tiris, is that... Is that you? Well, we know this isn't Majik. What are you doing, Kalex? Kill him now. Enough, this Dissidian. The hero will not slay her now. I knew your plan was doomed to failure. I would never have gone along with it. This is Majik, you, you fool. This is your only chance to fake your death and escape once and for all. I have no patience for it. Let us kill them and take their skins. And we can announce my death anyway. Come, it ends here. All right, get in there, guys. I will listen for now. What is it now? Dead. Um. What time we got to business? Yes, it is. Let's do this quick and quick. Oh, they're weak. Um. Give me some direction. Wait. It, it is good to be back in in my own skin. Ah, I, I can't, cannot believe I'm doing this. You, you killed those monsters? It was so horrible. They turned me into one of them. Peeled my skin from my bones and and now I've been put it, put it back. What do you mean, turned you into one of them? They turned me into one of them. He took my skin like it was some kind of coat and put it on. He told me that I was a skin dancer too. I I can feel the dark magic coursing through me, changing me. He laughed at me, said I had been given a gift, if only for a short time. He told me it was an honor when a skin dancer assumed a new form. He said he needed to change his identity, but that he didn't want heroes chasing after him. He meant you, didn't he? He knew who you were he knew you were here. He meant to use both me and 
and Tyrus, but Tyrus got away, so their plan had to change. Thank the gods you found out. But I... I cannot go anywhere like this. I can feel that magic, that evil, growing inside me. Please, my lord, help me. What can I do? When, when he was taking my skin, Rajik said that the only way to stop the process was a spell of restoration. But, but he laughed, saying I would never receive it. it. If you could find that spell, could you not cast it upon me? me maybe the temple superior at the Joaquiner Temple would have something. Only, I have no coin. I know such magic is very expensive, but if you could find it in your heart to save me, I would be eternally grateful. I may have that spell on me here. I will check. Please, please, if you have the spell, we can get it. I beg you to help me. Does lesser restoration count? Because I know I have that. I don't know where it's at, but I know I have it. Oh, it's so hard to find these damn spells. Try that. No harm in it. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel my, my skin turning back to normal. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I've got to go home. I've got to see Tyrus. Thank you again, you wonderful, wonderful man. Level up. 30,000 XP for that. Damn. I'm waiting. I hope this is worth it. That was awesome. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. All right, you have leveled up at level 15 sorcerer, right? That's what you are? Conjurer. That's right there. All right, so you get one level four, one level five spell. One hit point. Okay, that's kind of a weak level. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but hey, I guess it's better than nothing. Four and five spells. Another one of these. Um, what do we got? Teleport field. Secret ward. Spider spawn. Spider spawn's a good one. Kind of want to get enchanted weapon again, but I want spider spawn, actually. And fifth level. I get spell immunity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And you guys should be getting pretty close now, huh? I guess you're not, but you should be getting close. Yeah, 43,000 for her. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, let's go talk to Tyrus real quick. See if he found anything to reward me with. Otherwise, we leave. And we'll go up to Umber Hills. I like that sword. Do you have Do you have to sharpen it? Can you sign my shirt? I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> Leave me alone, Niebuhr. I'm there. Oh, he's gone. Well met and welcome. Raisa came back and she was overjoyed. She told us everything that happened. You are a marvel, my lord. A true hero for having saved them. And now they are to be married. What wonderful news. Thank you again, my lord. I cannot express my gratitude enough for everything you've done here. I mean, you could. Would my opinion of if this group drop done. any lower? Evidently so. Oh, becoming like. I know we can be. Alright, let's go sleep and then we'll head out in the morning. Or I guess in the evening. Up to the Umber Hills. Finish that quest up. Was there anything else here that we're supposed to do? No. Hey, not a concern. My good sir, Viatri. Never had rats. No, sorry. You may not rest me. Oh, God damn it. Get up here. Give me some direction. I hope this is worth it. Oh, 
I ate those. I, I cast my white flag before you. I can struggle no more. You have, you have defeated me. Who are you talking about? Defeated you? Oh no, I'm not falling for this again. Stay away from me. Uh, what are you talking about? Defeated you? Yes, defeated me. I didn't know what it is about you, Heliax, but I opened up to you. I let you inside with honesty and candor. I'm not used to such. Trust is death. I have been betrayed again and again, and yet I began to trust in you. I... I cannot allow it to happen. I was confused. I tried to drive you away. Those... things... I said we last spoke. Lies. I told you the truth of things the first time. You saw through my deception. It would not be driven away. I owe you... So much. You are a safe harbor in a storm of terrifying power. I begin to feel that I need you, and this enthralls me and enrages me all at once. If you will have me, I shall not push you away again. Stay with me tonight, Heliax. Let us be together in earnest. Let me savor the unfamiliar fear that goes with this trust. This will never work out. <laughs> oh, then that would be so cruel. <laughs> you get to this point, and you're just like, nah, we're good. <laughs> This will never work out. I think it's best that this relationship doesn't continue, Viconia. Who would who would do this? Like, I'm sure there are people that have done this, but like... I guess if you were romancing two different people at the same time... You'd have to do something like this, but... Damn. I don't trust you, Viconia. Not after all this time. Not after last time. I don't think this is the right time for this, Viconia. Alright, Viconia. I will stay with you. Yeah, hell yeah. Come to me, then. My runs. My Mron Disnes Disnes. <laughs> you have defeated me, now taste your victory. Hell yeah. Is this the end of our romance? Is there no more? I guess not. I kind of enjoyed the old um I'm waiting. What is it? The uh the anger and all that. That game we were playing. I wonder if that's the end of it. Well, maybe she will ever talk to me again. I hope there's more to the... I hope there's more res resolution, conclusion, closure to that than that. But we'll see. I'm sure there will be. Alright. The Umar Hills, eight hours away. Hmm, another revelation in my, uh, our nether scroll. A spell of transformation, both basic and sophisticated. It is not unlike the transformation of mage to lich, but it must be more. Much more. I've prepared for this moment all my life and lifetimes before. Be prepared to cower and flee. Nothing will stand in my way after this. Edwin, I'd suggest restraint. It's dangerous to meddle with magic that you don't know that you know nothing about. Go ahead, Edwin. A powerful mage is difficult to find and a terrific benefit to all. Lose the scroll, Edwin. Evil begets evil and it can only lead to ruin and despair. Go ahead, Edwin. Wise advice, and I shall not totally forget you when you are as bug you are you are as a bug before me. Now to power. Kinda of worried he's gonna kill himself. This is bad. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. He's female now. She looks kind of cool actually. I think he I think he looks cooler like this. Hey, look at that, that that nose ring. That's neat. I will tolerate only so much. This is blasphemy, an outrage against nature and order. I must redouble my efforts to cancel the hideous and deforming nature. This is nether scourge. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> I love it. What? Nothing? This is a, this is shameful and revolting. What are your what do you what are you pie-eyed vagrants gawking at? Staring at me with a plebeian vandal's charm. This is beyond treachery. <laughs> it looks like you you're in some trouble. And by the way, nice rack. Oh my god. <laughs> what a what a sentence. 
Edwin, Edwin, calm down, calm down. We'll find a way to get you back to your original, not quite as pleasant to the eye shape. If you're a woman, you've no place among us. Damn. Uh, I can't, I gotta say number one. <laughs> what? How dare you, scoundrel, gawking up my mantle. Hey, they aren't that bad, come to think of it. Wait a moment. What happened to my... Oh, no. No. No! <laughs> oh, my God. Woman or not, my spell throwing is unparalleled and will bring the wrath of cleansing hellfire upon you should the mood move me. Okay. Yeah? Well... That's an interesting turn. It's done. That's kind of awesome. Okay. Um. And we need to go. Where am I going? What am I doing for this? I need to buy bastard swords for these kids, right? That merchant's gone. I wonder if that merchant was one of those skin dancers, or was a skin dancer. So peaceful and serene it seems. Hmm. It is a lie. The leaves and branches hide a savagery we sapiens can only aspire to. Three bastard swords and some baler ale for three youngsters in the village of Emmersville. Mind you, how much trouble could they get into? Uncle Marcher's named Men Menling should have what they need. Men Menling. Hope it wasn't one of the merchants I killed, otherwise... We're not doing this quest, are we? I'm there. Min Min thing. I don't know where this person is. Um, they might not exist actually. It might have been one of the merchants we killed. If it Min Min thing. Ada. I don't think we can do this. I'm. I bet that was one of the people we killed. I mean, if they're not in the tavern, and they're not out here, then they don't exist. Okay, I guess we're not doing this quest. Let me know if I just missed them, or if it was one of the people I killed. We'll come back later, I guess. Alright, uh, I guess we go do Nira's quest. 24 hours away. Ah, good. I've been waiting for you. The camp's really close. Greetings, Nira. It's good to see you, but I'm surprised you're not already there. Waiting for me? Why? Uh, I... You don't know where it is. I was having a hard time finding it earlier, but that's not the problem now. What is then? Honestly, I'm having a bit of trouble bypassing the wards and traps we set up to keep unwanted visitors out. I shouldn't have trained the others so well. Extraordinary talent can be such a curse. I see. So I'm to assist you in getting past these words? Extraordinary talent always... Talents always are. I should know. Need some help? Uh, need some help? Tempting, but... Yes, let's join forces. I can guide you to the camp, and you can make sure I don't die. Leave the brat behind. So what do you say? Am I in or out? Uh, I'd be happy to have you by my side, Nira. You can join us for a time. If your magic is useful and not too troublesome, you may remain. Yeah, number two. Glad to hear it. This should be fun. Dread, danger, and death aside, and blisters. Can't forget the blisters. We've got to be careful. This entire forest is a wild magic zone. Hmm. It wasn't always, but the wild mage refugees affected the, the weave. Okay. Well, Cern, I'm going to have him stay here, though. We can get him when we leave. Leave me be. Truly, this is an assault. If you accept this miserable excuse for a practitioner of the arcane arts into your party, you will endure an incalculable, incalculable loss. My departure. Truly, Edwin, after all we've been through together? Very well, I've traveled with you long enough. Then you give me no choice. Nira, I need Edwin more than I need you. After we've been, th after all we've been through together, truly, Heliax, your pitiful attempt to manipulate my emotions is foolish, ineffectual, and near insulting. Nostalgia has no sway over one who can bend even time to his will. Is he? Is he leaving forever?
So be it. Oh, I don't want to lose him. Let's see what happens if I say, so be it. Well, what? You want this strangely non-bald Thean maniac instead of me? All right. I just have two words for you, evil wizard. Do we flower anew, or is the fall upon us? Yeah, let's go. Wait, is she gone for good? No. I mean, the quest is still here. Give me some direction. Okay. Interesting. I'm waiting. It's probably best Nira? left to me. Okay. Well, I don't know if I can even go forward without her. Quaid. Did I just Heart Wayward Wanderer? I set out a fortnight ago. Turn around. Turn around. The path ahead is treacherous and leads nowhere. Hmm. I really didn't want to get rid of Edwin. Tell me, friend, what I can do to aid you. I see the, the cart has broken down. Nonsense. The path must lead somewhere. What do you know of the hidden camp nearby? I know nothing of a hidden camp. It's been a fortnight since I set out. Turn around. Do not try my patience. You know more of this camp than you say. What are you hiding? I've been on the road for a fortnight, and I set out a fortnight ago. Turn around. Perhaps you can answer another question. A fortnight. All right. What do you mean? A fortnight. A fortnight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Thank you, Viconia. How long do you intend to crack your whip on my back? I say we stop now. Did I make a mistake? Should I reload? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, like I don't really feel like helping Nira. I'm not a fan of Nira. I grow weary. Not a concern. I'm no use to anyone tired. Um, let's save it. I do want to explore this map, though. Maybe we'll help her out inadvertently. Um, let's do that. I don't know what that was. I don't get some healing. You must wear this form. The least you could do is keep it in good health. Okay, maybe this place is a little too dangerous for us. I hope this is worth it. Give me some direction. I've already looted this. I'll see to it. Yeah. I'm waiting. Okay. Yeah, it's done. You know, we can come back here another time. Let me know if you guys, if there's something I don't know. Like, a part of me wants to just say I'm not a fan of the Enhanced Edition stuff. But I do like Dorn a lot, so maybe not. I don't know, I just... I'm not that interested in her. We'll come back later if we have to. Maybe I should reload it. To before... We talk to her, so we can make that decision later. I think I'll do that. You guys let me know. Um... Yeah. You guys let me know what you think about it. I hope this is worth it. If you care. Um, I'm assuming we'll be able to do that another time. Well, if that's the case, we want to go to the dock district, sell the stuff we stole, and then I guess we're ready to go to Spellhold. That's exciting. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go. Yeah, All right, down to our hideout. Let's just get in right here. It's quicker. Oh, we want to see if, if Jan is back too before we actually do this. So we'll um, 
we'll sell our stuff and then we'll see if Jan is back and then we'll go to spell hold. I'm there. Oh, I know a discerning eye when I All see All right, one. so I think everything we want to sell is in here. All right, we don't want that. Oh, I guess we got to go buy the armor for Dorn too. We'll have the money. Um, this is the short sword, so we don't want that. We want to keep the long swords. You can have that. Don't need the rod of terror. Don't need these things. That's ten thousand gold. Yeah, we'll keep these. I want to keep those because I do plan on getting long sword proficiency. Um, soonish. Have we found an alchemist anywhere? Like a potion vendor? I don't think we have, have we? Yeah, this. These ones don't do it for me. Like, I really don't think we have. Yeah, that wand of fire, too. Actually, it might have been good, but don't need the, that either. Hmm. Give me some All right, direction. so we can rest here freely, right? Thank you for that tip, by the way. A good morning to you. Or at least as close a morning as we come with these strange hours that we keep. I trust your exertions were worthwhile. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, that's, that's two nights in a row we slept together. Look at that. Hmm. This isn't a lead up to another round of verbal abuse, is it? I enjoyed pleasing you as much as I enjoyed myself. I hope I stack up well enough against these drow males of yours. Yeah, I gotta say that. Very worthwhile indeed. Number two. Ha! Drow males learn the arts, but most are timid, passive things. You have a charming enthusiasm that surpasses even the ones who enjoy their role, I think. Oh, well. Nothing. It, enthusiasm goes a long way, guys. I... I am lucky, Heliax, to have found you on the surface. To think that I would need to come so far to such an alien place to find someone that I could trust. She wanted to say love there, I think. You're not so terrible, Heliax, for a male. And you're not so terrible for a drow. <laughs> I think I understand what you mean, Viconia, and I thank you. Yeah, she has to throw that in, right? I kind of want to say number one, but I'm a little worried she might take it the wrong way. I'm going to say it, though. I like the jesting of it. Ha! I am a horrible excuse for a drow. Yes, she took it the right way. If my sisters saw me melting before a male, they would flay my skin bare. But with you, it does not does not seem such a bad thing. Aww. I'm waiting. Why is Dorn... If it must be done, what would you have me do? Oh, is that the... That's the cloak of displacement, right? Yeah. Alright, let's leave through the top left. so we can get out of here quicker. We need to go buy the armor. I think that's all we're going to be able to afford, isn't it? Hey, not and find Yawn. I hope this is worth it. Walnut! Hot walnut! Hi, Dukin. It's kind of what it sounded like he said. <laughs> uh, where's the way out? I'm a bit to call this civilization. <laughs> Blasted bloody humans. I would like to go to like a a non human city. Like we spent all this time in Baldur's Gate in this place, and I don't think we've been anywhere that wasn't human, have we? I don't think so. Yeah, I'd love to go to like a dwarven city or you know, an elf city. Even like a halfling village, I guess city. Do they have cities in, in in this game? I don't know. Uh, where am I going? Joaquin's promenade. Let's get that armor. Yeah, I'll see to it. Like this city is really cool. I I think I like Athcatla more than Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate was very traditional. Traditional fantasy. Which is nice. Don't get me wrong, but 
this is a very unique city, I feel like, in architectural, architecture-wise and everything. All right, let's get you your armor, buddy. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. Uh, you. There's a plate of boulder and. Are you sure I can't steal it? No. What does this one do? Ooh. Ooh. Mercy killer ring. Well, that's kind of interesting. That'd be all my money, though. We want some money. In case we need it on our journey. Oh man, that's so good. This is really good, actually. Hold on, wait a minute. Is it better than what you have? This is the best piece of armor we have. I mean, we have CERN as CERN as our tank right now. If we ever replace him, I guess if we find Jan, then we can think about giving this to her, because that might be very useful. Even if she doesn't really use charisma. I mean, she's a, she does like charisma, though. Increases her, your hit points, so she could use that. So she could use the hit point gain, too. But for you, this is going to make your charisma 18. So you're getting another modifier point for it. Whatever that's worth. I don't think charisma is too useful. Like, I remember in Baldur's Gate 1, I think you guys told me that charisma is kind of useless. Like, I assume, like, it gives him a, a little bit of a buff for his spell casting, but he's not a spell caster anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, look at that armor. That's cool armor. <laughs> Is this better than what you're wearing? No. No. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell this to you. Anything you need, I can likely provide, I assure you. Oh, it's... All right, we'll stop by. by well, we can sell it to the uh, black market guy. Can I talk to you? Somewhat haughtily, Lucy turns away as you approach. The wyvern ignores you. I'm okay. Ready. I'm there. All right, let's go one more time. Look for Jan one last time. If it must be done. I can't believe there's not... I think maybe this person was a potion vendor. Where were they? Ing Shop, the merchant that I killed on accident. Well, not on accident. I think I stole from them, like, at the beginning of the game and ran out of their house. Okay. Um, we'll check the government district and the prison first. It's probably best left to me. And then we'll check his house. This is Ariana again. Yeah, he's not here. I don't know why he'd be in the prison. The quick thing I read is that if you turn him in, like when you first find him, he'll be in the prison. I don't know, maybe he got caught at the scene of the crime. We can't go through this door, right? Oh, we can go through this door now. Hey, not a concern. Okay. It's gonna be so annoying trying to look for him in here. Prisoner. Don't see him in the here. Doesn't look like he's here. Nope. Okay. Then I suspect he would be. I think we've lost him for good, guys. I hope this is worth it. I think we have. Which means that this is probably going to be the party for the rest of the game. I do love CERN. So I guess it's not so bad. But it's just I don't think he's... I don't think he's the most optimal pick for our party. Um, slums. Yeah, I'll see to it.
Like they said in the comment, they said that he'd be down in the basement with his uncle. So I guess we'll check. You must gather your party before venturing forth. And go downstairs. I'm there. He's not here. Hmm. Okay, well, this is the group. I just came here to find some turnips. I swear. This is the group. Damn. The only other thing I can think of is that he's I'm still willing. in the temple district. You must gather your party before over by the radiant forth. heart. I I mean, we might as well check, right? Is this the chicken he's talking about? No. Nope. Chicken has nothing to say to you. Last thing we'll be checking. It's probably best left. To Let's go down to the radiant heart. And see, maybe he just ran out the door on this side and is standing there for whatever reason. Hasn't make a lot of sense to me though. It's kind of just like a, a hopeful prayer. Not looking like he's here. Garrick's not here either. I mean, is he inside? Maybe. You must this seems more likely than him, like, you know, force. leaving and just standing out here. Hey, not a concern. Jan? You in here, buddy? Not looking like it, huh? I can't go in these doors, right? It's not looking like he's here, guys. All right, well, I guess the tale of Jan Janssen is uh, finished. We pissed him off and he left. You must gather your party before venturing. It's a crying shame, really. I hope this is worth it. All right, back to the docks. Yeah, I'll see to it. Down here. Uh, we do want to go stop in here real quick and sell. You must gather your party before venturing forth. And we want to talk to you. An excellent day for whatever you're after. And here you go. Okay. Any potions? Last minute things? Just have those potions. I don't need those. Yeah, I'm there. All right. Let's go talk to. We have to go talk to him, right? It must be done. That's who we're talking to. Da -da -da -da. All that remains now is to return to Aaron and tell him that the guild is gone. Wait, have I not done that part yet? Did I, like, not load the right save at some point? Oh, no. We'll probably end the episode uh, rather soon, actually, looking at the time. We'll end it before we leave. It's probably best left to me. All right, so let's go over here and then we'll wrap up the episode. Yeah, it's a shame that um, Jan is gone, but I think this party will still be able to do good work. I mean, obviously, it's going to be a little bit more troublesome identifying things without Jan, but we'll get it done. And we have you know <laughs> the new and improved Edwin over here. Uh, this is hilarious. I wonder how long it'll take him to turn back, or if he ever turns back. Very interesting character. Um, we have Dorn. He's going to become rather strong. He's got really good armor now. Yep. All oh, this is going to be really good, I think. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Until the next one, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you later.